In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to save your game, set a high score so that when you restart the game, it remembers it. I'm Xanderwood. I make indie games and tutorials on game development. I also play your indie games every week on my channel. Make sure you subscribe and click that bell icon so you never miss a video. Hey, welcome back to Easy Game Mechanics. In this episode, we're going to cover saving and high score. So I'm going to show you how to set the score based on collectibles. And then I'm going to show you how to set a high score if your, high, if your current score is higher than your high score. And I'm going to show you how to save it so that when you restart the game, your high score remains in place. Before we get started, uh, just a quick shout out to this guy, Bim.Games, who's been incredibly helpful um, troubleshooting some of the issues I've had on my devlog that I was stuck on a couple of episodes ago. He's got some great tutorials on Construct 2 and Construct 3 in both Italian and English, so if you're interested, head on over and check them out. Okay, so back to the game. We've got the little green guy here, which now has legs because we added legs in the last episode of Easy Game Mechanics and I quite like them, so I've decided to keep them. If we look at the event sheet, we've just got, I've just set up a couple of global variables, one to track the score, one to track the high score. To add those in, you right click and just add a global variable and then you can call it whatever you want. I've left mine as a number and it is zero and zero. There's nothing in the setup group and then for movement I've just got the basic A, D, W controls to make him jump, walk left and right. And then underneath that we've just got a couple of events that say if we touch one of these collectibles that I've created these yellow squares, if we touch one then we're going to add one to our score and we're going to destroy the collectible. And then every tick, so every frame of the game, we've just set a condition that says update the text score, which is this here. If you look at the text score up there, update that to say score, which is this, and then update the high score to high score. But I actually want to change that, and instead of that, put it in brackets and say high score, colon, space, brackets, ampersand, high score. So it's the same as score. And then what that will do if I play the game is it will update accordingly. So I can collect all of these up, all five, but then if I close the game and restart the game, I'm back to zero again. So I've got this purple square in the corner here. This is just called save and all it is is a purple sprite. There's nothing special about it. It is just a sprite. First thing I need to do is double click and add the mouse. So now we can use it and we're going to add an event and we're going to say mouse on object clicked and we're going to pick the purple square. I'm going to say when we click that square then we're going to start saving the game. I also want to add in local storage because this will enable me to save uh, the variable data that I want to save on whoever's playing the game's local storage, be it the phone or the hard drive or the computer. We need that and that's very important in order to save the game. So we go back to the event sheet. We need to first add an action. So when we save, when we click save, we need to add an action. And what we need to do is go to local storage and we need to set an item. So we need to tell it what we're saving. And I'm going to call this score. You can call it whatever you want. If it was coins, you can you can set it to coins. If it was rainbows, whatever, it doesn't really matter. Whatever it is, that's what you want to reference. That's a name that you're going to need to reference later. And the value of that score is going to be the global variable score that we set up earlier. Now we need to go up the setup and we're going to add an event system on start layout. So when the level begins, now first thing we need to do when the level starts is check to see if there's any saved data. So we're going to add an action and we're going to say local storage, check item exists. And the item is going to be what we just called score. We're going to check this one. To see if we've never played it before this is not going to exist if we have played it before then this item will exist then we add an event and we say local storage and we say on uh, on item exists so when if the item does exist and that item is score if the item does exist then what we want to do is get the item and again type it in score so if it exists let's get it Add another event, local storage, on item get. So when we've got it, when we've got score, then we're going to set it. So we need to go system and we're going to set the value of high score. And we're going to set it to local storage dot 
item value. So then we're going to set effectively what we've just said is if we if it exists we're going to get it and we're going to set it right here. Come back down to the mouse um, event down here where we click save and we're going to push B and add a sub event. Double click and we're going to say system and we need to compare the score variable. So we're going to say if score is greater than high score then we need to go system and we need to set the value of high score to score. So basically when we click save we're going to save the item uh, score to score but we're also going to do a little check to see if we've got a new high score. So let's check it out. Well my high score is 4 because uh, I played it before uh, when I was testing it out. So if I click on that now it's not going to do anything because it's equal to my high score. So if I close it, uh, in fact what I'll do just so I can show you properly is I'm going to clone that and I'll put that there and I'm going to color it green so it's different and I'm going to put it up here and this one is going to be called clear. So I want to go back to the event sheet, I'm going to go add event, I'm going to go mouse, I'm going to say on object clicked and I'm going to say clear and then I'm going to add an action, I'm going to go to local storage and I'm going to say clear storage. So now I can click on that, close the game, open the game, my high score is back to zero. So now I can show you, we've got one, we've got two. So I can click save, updates my high score. Close it down, come back a little bit later, continue the game. My high score is still two. So this time if I beat my high score, so I get four, and click save, updates my high score, close the game down, open it up. Here I am back with four. Now if I get all five, save it up, here we go. Now we've got a score of five, close it down, open it up, there it is. Hit clear data, go back, open it up, data's back to zero. If that was useful, leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to keep seeing me make these easy game mechanic tutorials and if you've got any suggestions for future tutorials, then leave a comment below. See you in the next one.